I'm Howard Butler, and today we're going to be talking about why the built-in defragmenter in Windows 7, Windows 8, even Windows Server 12 is simply not good enough. One of the things you have to understand is disk I.O. performance, every I.O. operation that occurs takes a measurable amount of time. There's no such thing as an instantaneous I.O. request. So the more I.O.s you do, simply the longer it's going to take to get the job done. Now this occurs whether we're talking about a workstation, whether we're talking about a server environment, even in a virtualized cloud environment, IOs do occur. And the more IO traffic you do, simply the longer it's going to take. Now, one of the things that occurs within the NTFS file system within Windows is a phenomenon known as fragmentation. Files will be written into many different pieces and as a result, each of those pieces requires a separate individual, separate I.O. transaction. And as we've already stated, each I.O. takes a measurable amount of time. So as the fragmentation occurs on a natural, daily basis, it takes more and more I.O.s to complete the job. Now, the more I.O.s it takes, certainly you're having slower access time to, the, to your storage. Now, the built-in defragmenter, at best, comes along once a week, usually on a Wednesday at 1 o'clock in the morning. So if your computer system happens to be turned on, the Windows built-in defrag utility will come along and try to clean up the fragmentation. But you've already experienced a performance loss or a performance penalty because that fragmentation did incur more IOs. It took longer to access the data. So with each passing day, you're incurring more and more IO traffic. As a result, trying to fix it on a Wednesday, but it's really, if I'm working on a project, let's say it's Tuesday afternoon, how is running the built-in defrag Wednesday at 1 o'clock in the morning really going to address and fix my particular problem? So rather than going back and trying, trying to fix the problem after it has already incurred a performance penalty for you, Conducive Technologies has created a product called DiskKeeper. DiskKeeper has a technology called Invisitasking and IntelliWrite which helps prevent the vast majority of the fragmentation from occurring without taking any additional system resources from the system or from other applications. This ensures that you get the least number of IOs to go to the storage and allows your application to run that much faster. We've seen reports from customers where boot time, for example, has been increased, or I should say reduced in time, by 50% or more. We've seen cases where backup has also been reduced in time by 50% or more. We've seen cases from real customer sites whose fragmentation was so bad that after handling and addressing fragmentation and preventing any future fragmentation from occurring, they saw a whopping 1,500 plus percent improvement in disk I.O. responsiveness and reduced elapsed time. So to me, that's clearly a reason why you want to prevent fragmentation from happening as opposed to attempting to try to fix it that's a day late and a dollar short. Proactive prevention of fragmentation is the key to successful operations and improved response time to users. Thank you very much.